Dear friends, good morning. I'm Phil Guiwar from the channel Trek Eco Survie Aventure. I'm happy to see you again because I would like to talk with you about your new plant. About a wild new plant. This plant is called Barcher's Broom. As you can see, there is a lot of thorns on the leaves. But are they really thorns and leaves? That is the question. We will see that after. The butcher's broom has two little fruit. See, you can see on the leaf red fruit, but we cannot eat. Please look at this shrub with me if you want. The Bachar's broom is a wild shrub. It is a perennial and evergreen plant. This kind of leaves have thorns and are very hard. That's why Bachar's use them to clean their work tops. It is easily found in the southwest of France, but also elsewhere it's more difficult to find it in some places. It is up to about one meter height. In winter, it carries small red berries in the middle of the leaves. It spawns from December to April. Each fruit is carried by what is believed to be a leaf thanks to a small tie. Its leaf is actually a cladle. That means a branch enlarged with chlorophyll to absorb light. These leaves are reduced to thorns without chlorophyll. The stems are ruined and fluted. The green cladets on both sides are attached to the stem directly and finish in a thorn. In January, the first flower buds appear on the cladets. They are yellow-green. They will give flower later. The plants are male or female. We call it daishu. Here is a female flower. Its heart is purple and ends in a small ball in the center. Now, that is male flower. It is purple too, but in the middle it has a white blue. These two types of flowers are only a few millimeters tall and can hardly be seen under the cladodes. Once fertilized, the fennel flowers will give beautiful red berries that look like cherries. The fruits are presented as toxic. It is prudent to not consume them. Here is the interior of a bay. Note that the core is important. Many roots are composed of elongated white rhizome. It is used in herbal medicine to treat 
it lacks an hemorrhage. Look at the roots, please. You can see a bud which will then give a stir. When they are bigger, they can be eaten like asparagus. When the cladodes die and dry out, only their internal architecture remains. Like very fine threads woven by a skyful worker, the cladodes now look only like lace. Here we are at the end of this video. I hope you liked it. If you want to know more, please go to my channel in French. Good. I hope that you will come again next month to see with me a new plant, a new white plant. Bye bye.